second most exciting episode of the Zongo Dream podcast show. Proudly brought to you and supported by AY Official, the media house for the Zongos. My name is Hajaratu Ayeba, your host for this amazing podcast episode. On our second episode titled No Zongo, we are going to go in a little bit about the history of Zongo communities. But before I delve into today's business, please remember to follow AY official on all social media handles to get updated on our newly published episode. If you haven't listened to the first epi with the title introduction, please do so by checking out our social media handles at AY official on Facebook, on Instagram and on Twitter for the link for our first episode. Are you ready for our second episode? Well, if you are not, then you better be. To start with, Zongo communities are found in all 16 regions of Ghana. With a much denser population in the Greater Accra and in the Ashanti region, So everywhere you get to in Ghana, there is definitely a Zongo community. Are you wondering where the next Zongo community is? Well, just send us a DM on Facebook or on Instagram. That's AY official. Let's direct you to the nearest Zongo community. In the first quarter of the 19th century, the earliest Zongo community started in Salaga and other established ones in Tamale, Jendi, and Ichizu. However, the largest and one of the oldest Zongos close to the coastal belt started in 1810 at Osha town presently called Zongolin. Now, Zongolin can be located before you get to Accra Post Office High Street area. Let's move on. In the present day, Zongo communities in Ghana are a community of people from the lower and middle class of tribes from both northern and southern Ghana, as well as legal migrants from neighboring countries like Niger, Nigeria, Mali, Burkina Faso, and other countries. The houses from the northern Nigeria are the pioneer settlers of Zongo communities, which is very amazing. The name Sabon Zongo from the Hausa language literally means new settlement. So if you are walking and you hear anything like Sabon Zongo, it just means new settlement in the Hausa language. No piggy about this. Now, Sabon Zongo was founded by the son of one of the earlier Hausa settlers from the northern Nigeria with name Malambako. So, Malambako was the son of Malam Naino. Do forgive me if I'm not getting the pronunciation of these names right. Malam Naino and his close associates Malam Garba arrived in Accra from Katina between the years of 1845 to 1850 to spread Islam. 1881, Malam Naino and Malangarba secured a land from the chiefs and elders of Osha town to establish the first ever Muslim settlement called the Zongo. Not long after the death of Malangarba, who was instated as the chief imam of Accra, Malam Naino, his associates, arose a succession plan among the various migrant tribes in the community, and all other tribes had petitions sent to the colonialists regarding who should be the next chief imam. Well, so, the houses chose Elijah Kadri English. The Yoruba already had a chief with name Brahma. The Zabarma, which are my people, also had their representative alongside with the Fulanis and the other tribes. At the end, every other ethnic group in that Zongo community had
had the chief instead of one central chief overlooking the affairs of all other Muslims in that community. After these representatives had been selected by the various tribes, there was a little bit of unrest between these tribes. So, to settle the unrest, the Gamancha decided to relocate the Agrib Hausa people, including all other tribes I have mentioned previously, to a place that was a few miles away from the first established Zongo in Accra. And this place was actually the first properly demarcated and mapped out Zongo community, and the name is Sabon Zongo. So it's not actually far from Kolibu, and it's very close to Latibia Koshin. So when you get to Latibia Koshin, it's very easy to get to Sabon Zongo. This would be all for this episode. As in our next episode, I'm going to have a detailed conversation with the chief in the Zongo community to really explain to us how Zongo really came into existence. If you have any questions you want to be answered, please leave your questions and your comments under our post on Facebook at AY Official. Remember that also the Zongo Dream podcast show is proudly brought to you and supported by AY Official, the only media house for the Zongos. My name is Hajara Tuaiba. I'm your host for this exciting podcast episode. Our podcast is supposed to be recorded in Zongo community because that is where I live. But I'm in Germany right now doing a project with Dan Grassroot and Future of Ghana Germany on plastic waste management. So I'm actually recording this podcast live in Germany, Hamburg, and I'm super excited for this opportunity. Thank you so, 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 so much for sticking with me on this amazing second episode of the Zongo Dream podcast show. Please remember to follow your official and all social media handles and always keep in mind that people from Zongos are not inferior. People from Zongos are hardworking, they are dedicated, they are they are all in all, they are extraordinary and shout out to all my Zongo people, you know, Tankan Sulai, Chikura, um Sabun Zongo Manita, Madina, Fadama. Um, a very big shout out to everybody living in this community and communities outside the crowd also. Um, let's keep being us and um, you know, peace out. <laughs> Bye.